What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech. Uh, this is my first of one of these videos I'm gonna try to do because um, it's just such a mission to get into the studio every now and then and then like, you know, break out the whole gear and everything. So I'm trying this on my cell phone. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. Um, a lot of people have been asking about the TiVo and I, I, I tend to try and keep a lot of my, my, my printers here in my office um, if I'm busy working with on a day-to-day -day basis because I do have another job which I run, um, which funds all of this, funny enough. Yeah, I know, it's weird, it's funding it, right? Um, anyway, um, a few issues, I cannot bring you guys a review right now because I feel like it will be unfair to TiVo and the Black Widow Group. Um, the reason is because they are sending out repairs and replacement kits, repair kits for the printers. I've, I've managed to get it printing in the back here. Um, if it works, it works. I've actually just, uh, if you can look on the top, I've got a base. There's the normal um, spool hold at the top there that's been clamped onto the thing because I've been trying to print this, the, the actual spool that was on Thingiverse for the Black Widow and I've been having trouble with it. Um, I've been having trouble with the firmware, I've been having trouble with the power button. You can see the power button is hanging off of it right here. Um, uh, lots, of pro lots of problems. I think that's basically it. There's a lot of firmware issues which I'm trying to deal with and trying to iron them out. We're doing S3D. I eventually went and I had, I had to get a glass bed on, onto it because that bolt tack, the problem I have was with any bolt tack I've seen, when you, when you stick it onto a heated bed, that glue isn't always the greatest. So when, when, the, when the bed heats up, the thing tends to get bubbles in it and that's terrible for bed living because you'll get a good line and then you'll get a bubble and then a good line and, again, and we can't do that. So I've had multiple fail prints with this thing because of that. So I went out, bought a four millimeter thick um, glass bed from Builders. You know, it's not Borislit, but if it breaks, it breaks. It cost me 22 Rand. 22 Rand. Okay, so I've got that clamped on there. Bed level that again on my S3D. Uh, printing perfectly fine, as you can see. Uh, little fucking issue though. When I did, when I was rendering, when I was printing right from the S3D, for some reason it just stopped. And it did this three times. Just stops. Now, I don't know if that's my PC or whatever it is. Um, I've tried it on my laptop as well, I was doing the same thing, it stopped once, one of the times. Then I dumped it to an SD card that it came with, and it's getting these weird wipe issues, like it'll stop the print, move away, and then do some kind of weird line move, move, movement, then go back to the print. Uh, it hasn't done that yet on here, which is kind of strange, on this one I'm printing. I stopped it and I tweaked the S3D a little bit. I heated up the, um, the hot end to 245 degrees as per, I think it was PEST. Uh, um, his S3D profile. I didn't like the rest of it. It was very weird. Like for instance, I'm not too sure why, but it says it's a it's a 0.4 nozzle, and if I if I've extruded out of there, it's a 0.5, sometimes 0.55 that's coming out of that nozzle. So I increased my nozzle size to 0.55 on S3D. It seems to be working very well. Increased that temperature. Printed the first layer at 30% of the normal speed, which was 4,000 uh, millimeters per, per minute. Um, yeah, and. I, you know, there's a slight gap, but I mean, it's good. It's good. I was getting issues with this peeling off of the bed, but then what I did was I um, I went and I bought those, this this Da Vinci glue, and it's really expensive, but I love it because it came with my with one of my Da Vinci's. Uh, it's really I'm gonna okay, spell it. But it smells good. Uh, okay, it's not like pricked. It's actually very clear, but it works like a bomb. Okay, so when I bought five of those, those were like 700 and something rand. I bought them from my supplier because I, I have an IT company. So uh, the, my supplier that supplies me with IT equipment also supplies me with um, DaVinci printers. It's Mustek. Um, on take a lot, they're 249 rand each. Uh, I paid 150 odd rand for them each, including that. So I got five of them because I like them. I mean, they're like the best bed adhesion tool in any 3D maker's toolbox. Uh, it costs a lot though, that's the only thing, and it doesn't last, I mean, it's tiny, this thing is really small. Anyway, where, where was I, where was I, okay. Uh, yeah, so, I cannot, uh, I cannot give you guys a good review until I've received the, uh, rep the repair kits that they're, that they're sending out. Um, it's been very frustrating with this printer, and I've been even more frustrated with my coastal for some reason, because I, I took it apart to, to do some cable management on it, that's all, just cable management, put it back and I'm having weird fucking issues, like, it's strange, I don't know, um, let me see if I can find, I can't find it, anyway, anyway, alright, um, yeah, if you check me out on Facebook, I'll, I would, I'll, I've posted on there asking guys to, like, help me out and see what's going on, but, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on there, I'm going to take a look at it when I have another chance, uh, it's just, it's been so crazy, because I've been looking at that non-stop and I can't anymore, so I'm printing it on here. 
uh, that's basically it. So I'm sorry I can't get you guys a review until I get the repair kits. And uh, apparently TV are going to be sending me a bunch of other stuff. Hopefully, I'm not too sure. Don't hold me to that. Um, I know it's difficult to get stuff into South Africa, which is the main problem. Oh, see, it's doing it. No, no, it's not. No, yeah, it did. It did that weird thing. Which is, mm, <laughs> it's only on SD cards though, but on S3D it just stops. And then like, it just stops, and then sometimes, sometimes it'll continue again. But then you already had this like extruded, like dingleberry of, <laughs> dingleberry, <laughs> of, of, of filament, which is, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I wanna keep it real quick. I know this is a terrible quality video, but it's my cell phone, it's all I have. I'm gonna try to keep a camera at the office to do these kind of video diary things. Um, yeah, so if you have a TiVo, first thing you do, don't fuck around with that, with the bolt tack. Go get yourself a piece of glass and put some of those clamps on there. I think someone posted of using cage nuts as well. I haven't tried it, but that's a, that's a cool idea. Cage nuts is cool. Three millimeter will work. Um, I've tried three millimeter before and I've had chip offs. So I wanted to try four millimeter now. There is probably going to be a huge temperature, temperature difference from that aluminum heated bed to the actual glass. I haven't tested it on here. Um, I'm going to do a thermal imaging on it. Yeah, so first thing, get a, get a glass bed. Way better, okay? Bed level, bed level. In, if you have this specific hard end, I think it's the volcano, um, what you need to do is increase your nozzle diameter to 5.5 and extrusion multiplier of 1. Um, put some, put some, uh, some, some, some good glue on there. I tried hairspray, it didn't work. If you want to try painter's tape, go ahead. I don't like painter's tape. I mean, it works, but sometimes it works. Like, it's just strange. Uh, I think with PLA it works perfectly well. I like ABS though. Like, I haven't even printed. I'm printing the fucking stand for like the 15,000th time. Once I get the stand up, then I'll get the, the, the fan shroud in and all the rest of that. Um, and then we can start testing with a bit of PLA there. But, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I know you guys love it. I love it, but, okay? Subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, it's Angry Tash. Check out my blog as well, I think it's down at the moment, but check it out anyway, angrytash.com. And um, yeah, check out my Facebook page as well, Tash Tech. Remember to subscribe, you guys are not subscribing. Okay, cool, thanks.